The road to the Breslin begins for Grand Rapids Christian tonight. The Eagles take on Grand River Prep in the district semifinals. For Christian coach Eric Taylor, this tournament is especially meaningful, especially after the tumultuous offseason that he endured. Jack Doles joins us now in studio with more on that story. Jack? Yeah, Eric Taylor is passionate about the game of basketball. He's passionate about coaching and the relationships he has with his players. That bond grew even tighter and stronger this summer when he was left fighting for his life. As a player, Eric Taylor was always a go-to guy. He was a standout at both Wyoming Park and Oakland University. I mean, the game has given so much to me um, in terms of uh, learning how to persevere. Oh, yeah, yeah, finish, finish, finish. We got to finish. Now as a coach at Grand Rapids Christian, those lessons in perseverance have served him well, especially this season. This is nothing short of a miracle, and so I'm so thankful to be here. Over the summer, Taylor suffered a massive stroke. And they said, typically, people don't make it. He did. And remarkably, miraculously, you would never know. Hey, use your legs. Use your legs. There was Not no impact to his speech. No signs legs. of paralysis. Legs. There are no Good. visible effects. Good. He had a Better. stroke. I sometimes have to really pinch myself to say, hey, man, you're, you're, you're here. You're alive. And uh, so, I mean, it was, it was truly a miracle for me. When you live through a health scare like that, you tend to gain a new perspective. You know, I think there was a point where I said, you know, why me? But after that, I mean, I quickly moved on and just, you know, God has a plan for me and I truly believe that. Um, and that's why I'm here today. Taylor wasn't sure he'd be allowed to coach this season, but once his doctor gave him the okay, he decided he needed to be there for his team. It's my passion, um, it's my calling, uh, it's what I love to do. You feel me? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, come on next, come on in here. But it really put things in perspective for me, just a new profound perspective um, to really embrace every day and embrace every moment to, to be here. I mean, physically and, and, and mentally to be present. And so now I find myself just uh, really uh, prioritizing life in a different way than I did prior to the stroke. As if that stroke wasn't trying enough, Taylor also suffered a detached retina in October. But with the help of his wife, his team, and his community, and as he says, by the grace of God, he hasn't missed a game. The Eagles are 20-2. and two. Clearly, this team isn't taking anything for granted.